Hi, and welcome to this introduction to the brand new Solar Cert from Seaward. Our new Solar Cert program will enable you, a PV200 or a PV210 user, to quickly and efficiently generate a report from the data that you've gathered in the field. So first of all, what I'm going to do is go to File. And we have several functions up here on the file list. However, for this tutorial, we're going to look at New String Data Report. I'm just going to click that. This will then open up a small dialog box where we can name the file. Now this is going to be our overall project name. So what I'm going to call this today is string report example. We can now open this and this will bring up our working space. So within this area is where we're going to be making our report and this includes all of the buttons and the functions that we're going to be using. So first of all, we need to get some data inside uh, this section right here. So we can do this one of two ways. We can import data directly from the tester. It will download a raw CSV file. So that's like an Excel kind of file. If we already have that CSV file, we can import that directly into the software. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link to the video we have on how to download from the tester. So today we're gonna use a CSV file that I've already prepared. So I'm going to go ahead and click import CSV. And now here I have my sample data set. SolarCert then takes that data and puts it into the item description area. So you can see right here that we have 30 strings of good data. So the first thing that I do is I need to select which panel I was testing in the field. So which module. Now to do that, First of all, I'm going to go to the Manage Module Database icon, so you can see, so we can click this. And I'm going to find the solar panel that I was using, or sorry, that I was testing uh, when I was in the field. So let me see, I need to say 261. And I'm going to select this panel, and I'm going to click Edit. And this is a little star next to the name, I'm going to click this, Save close. So now I go back to my strings and I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to right click and I'm going to set PV module type. So right here if I don't click my star, if this is unclicked, I will get every module in the list but if I click the star you can see our favorited modules or in the list, which this makes it nice and easy if you're using the same panel on lots of different sites or you need to lot, make lots of different reports in SolarCert but with the same panel. You don't have to find it then through the 18,000 module database. So I'm going to go ahead and click the panel. Now for these tests, there was only a single panel, but if we had a string of 23, 24, 16, we would enter the number of panels in series right here. So I'm going to go, go ahead and click OK. So we've imported our data um, and now we need to uh, make some hierarchy in this report and break the different uh, sections uh, down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse this sample data, CSV, as you can see. And then I'm going to right click and click insert row. This will put a new row in here for us in this uh, little dialog box. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to call that Combiner 1. I'm going to right click, insert another row, and I'm going to call this Combiner 2. And then I'm going to insert my final row and I'm going to call this Combiner 3. Now you'll notice that these kind of don't look in the right order, so I'm just going to put them in the order that I want them. Whoops. There we go, we have combiner one, two, and three. So right now these don't have any strings in, so then I'm gonna take it from my raw file, and I'm gonna put the first 10 into combiner one. I'm gonna put the second 10 into combiner two, and then the final strings into combiner three. And then I can remove this row. So then I have my strings broken down by combiner inside of solar certs. At this point, I'm just going to do a quick save, and this is going to save the overall uh, project file, 
which will show up in your document browser whenever you load SolarCert. Now to go through the different uh, information that we can provide on the report. So if I click string one right here, um, you can see that we will default to having the STC, the standard test condition curve, and the IV curve. However, if I click measured, M-E-A-S, we get a dashed measured curve. So this is what you actually took in the field. And the STC is that data transposed to standard test conditions. The nominal value is uh, kind of an average value that the manufacturer gives us. And then also we have the power curve. So what I'm generally most interested in is the measured against the STC. So I can also name these individual strings. So if I see a string with an issue, I can highlight that. Or I can go down and highlight different problem strings. And once I've worked with my hierarchy, I might be now ready to make a report. So what I would like to do is, first of all, I just wanna see all 30 strings on one report. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all three combiners and I'm gonna to go to Curve Report. I'm gonna click that. And here we have two options. So I can make a summary report or a string report. Now this summary report will put all of those strings on a single page. The string report will give me uh, one string on each page. So I'm gonna make a summary and I can title this. So just let me send this so I can say So you can see I've entered in some, some false data there. I can also add in a logo here so you can upload a file. I can also ask, the software ask me, do I want just the tables of data or also the IV curve? Then I'm gonna click next and it's gonna ask me where I would like to save it. So I'm just gonna save this on the desktop. Give it a moment just to process the data so you can see, SolarCert has now generated a PDF of the report that we've outlined. So we have the irradiance, the cell temperature, the fill factor, the number of modules, the time and date. We also have the site information and module information at the top. And we have this for each string. You can also see the string that we highlighted. It's pulled through the description. You can see this on the later pages, we have more data about the VMPP, the ISC, the IMPP, voltage, and also uh, the max power point, including the, uh, the differential figure, the power factor. We also then have the IV curves, and this is all generated for us in a very nice, simple uh, PDF structure. So you can see the functionality of SolarCert has greatly improved since the previous version. It now works very well with your PV200 and 210, so you can generate reports for your clients quickly and efficiently. For more information, please contact us on the information below.